Welcome to Recharge with Richardson, five minutes of hope and inspiration every Monday and Thursday. And now, here is today's episode. Happy Thursday. This is Recharge with Richardson, and I am Pastor Sven. Most people are exhausted by now. This corona pandemic is the root of our weariness that comes from frustration and fear. We may have thought that this COVID issue would pass quickly and relatively smoothly, but now we're wondering what sort of future we can face. Can we celebrate Christmas together? What about New Year's Eve or even Valentine's Day? And some are even wondering if we're going to get summer vacation in 2021. We're tired of constantly worrying and adjusting to the ever-changing directions that come from various government leaders. Can we meet or can we not? Are we going to school or work or are we not? In many cases, our tiredness comes from not knowing. We're unable to make plans. And if we do make plans, we need to have several contingency plans, which just adds to the stress of planning. And all this stress and tiredness has caused people to suffer in the one place that we cannot afford, our relationship with God. Our faith may be waning at this point. Our spiritual strength is atrophying. And then we read how Jesus comes and tells us, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength in Mark 12, 30. Well, some may say, I don't have any strength left. How can I love the Lord like that now? I've lost my job. I lost my time with my family, my hobbies. How can I love a God with strength I do not have? Well, let us learn a lesson from a man we remember for his strength that may encourage us. Samson was a man of great strength. He once killed 1,500 men with the jawbone of a donkey. He ripped a live lion's head in two with his bare hands. He carried a city gate on his back up a steep hill as though it was a common backpack. There's no doubt that Samson was a man of supreme strength. So what was the source of his strength? Judges 13.5 tells us, For behold, you shall conceive and bear a son, and no razor shall come upon his head, for the child shall be a Nazarite to God from the womb and he shall begin to deliver Israel out of the hands of the Philistines. In fact, these words are almost perfectly quoted by Samson himself as he is dealing with his nagging wife in Judges 16, 17. And sure enough, when he was shaved, he lost his strength. Samson's wife called upon the enemy to attack and overcome this one strong warrior and judge. And as Samson ran up, bald, to fight the incoming attackers, you would think that he noticed that his strength had left him. But that's not the reason that Samson got caught that day. The Bible tells us that Samson did not realize that the Lord had left him. The problem with Samson was he thought the source of his strength was in his long hair, while the truth was that the source of his strength had always been in God. It was Samson's walk with God that allowed God to provide him with the strength that he needed to help the people of Israel. Only as Samson realized this in that dark dungeon could he start to regain his strength, which he did. The Bible said that as Samson contemplated his relationship with God, that his hair started to grow, meaning that God accepted Samson's humility and was willing to restore his strength back to him. So as you feel the strength ebbing from your life, I encourage you, look to God, give Him all your strength, might, and power, and He will return it to you tenfold. Jesus encourages us in Mark 12, 30, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. Whatever you are going through, keep your focus on God. He will be your strength. Amen.
Well, thank you for tuning in, and may God bless you and keep you safe. Goodbye. Thank you for joining us for Recharge with Richardson. Don't forget to join us for our next episode. And until then, may God fill you with joy and peace and hope.